my lovely colouring friends, my name's Amanda and this is my channel Amanda Colours. I am excited to share with you my completed pages today and Emerald is here to say hello to you all. She just loves it when you come and spend time with us so thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, but did you know that there is more fresh water up in our atmosphere than there is actually on planet Earth? I think that's very interesting. And before we go any further, I'm going to <laughs> ask you to please excuse my taped up hand. Um, I have managed to sort of sprain the muscle down here. Um, I thought maybe it was from doing too much coloring because as you will see, I have done a lot this month. Um, but no, it doesn't hurt when I color. So I'm not quite sure how I've done it, but taping it up does help. Uh, so yeah that's what's going on there so even just flipping my hand like that hurt so I'll try not to do that but yes I have done a whole lot of coloring this month so even though our renovation technically started this month um, things have actually really really calmed down for mum and I and it's been so lovely um, we just yeah life is quiet and um, so much less stress than what we used to have and it is exactly what we need so it's really really good um so yeah i found myself doing a lot of coloring even though i have been in a lot of pain um had a lot of fatigue this month um but the pain hasn't really impacted the coloring all that much which is great and i kind of almost found myself getting almost a little bit obsessive about the coloring it was a bit strange it was like um I don't know, I was just so driven. I just had to be coloring, but anyway. So grab a snack, grab a drink, and I'll try not to make this video too long. First up though, um, I have started doing one of these a month, and this is from the Paint Gem Kits, and this is um, from the Birthstone edition, and March's Birthstone is Aquamarine. So I did this, um, it's really, really sparkly and I just love doing the little size um, kits and I will link to um, this and to all the books that I have colored in this month it will all be down in the description. So if there's anything you're interested in buying for yourself, you can just click those links. Then the next thing I did, I actually completed this book. It is the tiniest little book, as you can see from my hand. Let me just grab my little ruler. And it is 15 centimeters. So half of a ruler, a normal size ruler. Um, so I think that's about six inches. So teeny tiny. Um, it is a mini, an Osborne mini. I didn't realize it was going to be this tiny though. Um, and I actually got it one day and had finished it by the time I went to bed that night because I was just enjoying it so much. So let's have a look. So it's a magic painting book. So the colors are already embedded into the black ink. They're watercolors. So when you go over the pages with a wet paintbrush with water, um, yeah, it just brings the color out. So it's a lot of fun. I think this one here is my favorite. It's actually the first one I did in the book too. So I think this is my 11th completed book. I'll just go through quickly because I will do a flip through just of this book because I like to keep a record in my videos of the books that I've completed. So that's um, Fairy's Magic Painting Book by Osborne Minis. Then um, these are in size order, so they're not in the order that I colored them in. Um, but Boule de Puy, I think that's how you say it, or Fur Balls in English, um, by Art Therapy and illustrated by Diane Dufois. Um, Lavelia um, from Lavelia's Coloring is uh, running a hashtag throughout the year in this book, and I love this book. So I um, only came across the hashtag this month, so somehow I missed it for the last, like, four months or three months or something. So I'm going to go back and um, color all the pages 
and try and catch up. But the page I colored this month was this one. So I used a variety of different media. I used um, Neo Color 2s for the background and then um, Montmartre uh, metallic watercolor for the circle. I used the uh, Pastel Pentel gel pen for around the circle, um, my Prismacolor pencils, and then Tuliart, um metallic paint markers to do some of the outlines on the flowers and leaves and things. So I'm really happy with the, how that turned out. Um, it's so shiny and so pretty. So I'm really looking forward to going through and um, catching up on that hashtag. Then we have um, Disney Portraits, also by Hatchet Hero Art Therapy. Um, and this book I am working on finishing. I am definitely more than halfway through, but I do still have a bunch to do. And I mostly colour in this for the Disney scavenger hunt prompts that Megan from Disney Makes Colouring and I have in the Facebook group that we co-host. So we have a Disney prompt every week and we have a general prompt every week. And then you just look through your books and find something that matches the scavenger hunt prompts and colour it and post it to the group. So if you're interested in joining the group, we do have a bunch of different uh, prompts and colour alongs and lots of fun things that we do. Um, throughout the week and throughout the month. Um, so the link to join that is down in the description and we'd love to have you. So the first page that I did was actually finishing up a whip that I had started um, previously. Um, and this is Kovu, I think his name is, from The Lion King 2. Um, I use my Neo, not my Neo colors, my Ink Tense um, pencils activated with water. Um, some metallic gel pen, uh, the black glaze Sakura pen to make his nose shiny, and that's it. So that's that page. And then the next one is um, Merida. So this was for one of the Disney prompts, um, and I've used uh, Posca gold in the background for the filigree, um, some uh jaw hybrid metallic for some bits in the flowers and to make parts of her hair shiny and sparkly and then the rest is all dough and ink tense pencils so yeah i'm really happy with that one i like the shine little bits of shine in her hair and then the last one i did in here this month was again for the um, facebook group prompts and that was thumper so I have used um, Tombow markers for most of Thumper um, and then uh, ink tents, pencils in the background and for the flowers and then different metallic gel pens to outline the flowers and things to kind of give it some shine and sparkle. So that was it, yes? Yes. That was it for this book this month um, and I'm getting closer and closer to finishing so I'm excited about that. Next up is a project book that um, Disney Meg's Colouring and I are doing together. It is Enchanted Faces by Hannah Lynn. I have the pocket size book which I really like um, and we are doing three pages together each month um, to work towards finishing the book. So the first one we did Oh no, the first one I did was I did the title page um, because I like colouring everything in a book that is able to be coloured. So I've used my Posca markers clear glaze pen um, to make her eyes and lashes um, uh, glossy and then dual hybrid metallic pen for the border. And then... The next page we did was this one. I colored it to go with St. Patrick's Day. Um, and I just can't get over how uncomfortable she must be having her bosoms pushed up that high. But anyway, I just, every time I look at it, it's like, oh. Um, so I use my um, Copic markers, uh, Posca 
metallic gold for various bits um, and then the glaze pen again for the eyes the lips and the bottle yeah then the next one is this one and it's a lovely mermaid with her water dragon and again copic markers metallic pens and then i also used um the windsor and newton iridescent medium that I painted over the top of the coloring for the water dragon to make it shimmery, which I thought was fun. And then the last one in here for this month is this one. And um, I haven't shown you Megan's pages, so <laughs> let's go back. This is my page and um, I'll put Megan's here on top. She did a great job. And then for this one here is Megan's page again it's beautiful and then the last one here I actually based her colors off a goldfish so I wanted to do something a bit different and I thought that would work well with all her long hair and everything so again Copic markers glaze pens metallic pens all that good stuff um, and here is Megan's So very good. We're getting closer and closer to finishing this one. Next up is actually a first page for me out of this book. I've had it for a while, but I've not done anything in it. Um, so that goes towards Lavelia and T's um, hashtag March Colour Your Hoard 2024. Um, I actually had a bunch that I submitted to that hashtag this month. Um, because I coloured a first page in quite a few books. So this is Johanna Basford's Small Victories and the page that I coloured was this one and I coloured it for my AC palette challenge. So I used the colours from the palette. I'm not sure if you can see but there is a very faint bright yellowy green in the background as well. Um, I used my Artex pencils and a little bit of um, metallic gel pen for the little um, stamen or little buds on the flowers. So yeah, I really enjoyed colouring that and I'll have to get into this book a bit more. While I was on my roll, I decided to finish a long-standing whip in Minor Reise Dirk Europa by um, Rita Berman. That's my journey through Europe. And I had started this, um, have I marked it? Oh yeah. I started this last year, I think it was. Um, and I was following a tutorial um, by Maritz Colourful Adventure. Um, and it uses uh, Derwent Intense Pencils. So that was a lot of fun and I learned a lot about using the pencils and layering them up and getting deeper colours by doing that. Um, I kind of added my own touches by adding in some white on the clouds and on the details here, um, a little bit of white on the um, flowers on the car and some highlights on the church and the birds. Um, but I'm really happy with this. It, they're not really necessarily colours that I would use, but um, because of the sunset, Marit kept talking about, um, you know, adding a golden glow. So we were adding a lot of golden tones throughout the whole spread. Um, and yeah, I just really, really, really enjoy doing colour alongs. Um, and I've done quite a few, like, because they're tutorial based and um, I learn a lot and I seem to do a bit better when I have someone um, guiding me I guess um, and I tend to put a bit more effort into rather than just coloring quickly so yeah I really enjoyed that oops next we have another of my hashtags hashtags um, and that is ACC of Colours and that is where we colour a page in Angela Gonzalez's book Sea of Colours uh, and in March we coloured 
this page here at the back, which is sort of one of the information pages, um, because the book is all about bringing awareness to endangered um, sea creatures and protecting our environment. So I actually looked up the various creatures um, and tried to base my colors on what they actually look like. Uh, I used my Doant Intense pencils and in the background I actually used um, a Bic Intensity water-based marker that I um, uh, drew onto a, a smooth plate and then activated it with water and used it a bit like watercolors. And I must have still had some iridescent medium in my paintbrush because it's actually come up a little bit shiny. Um, I don't know if it's actually going to pick it up because it is quite subtle, but it looks quite cool in real life. So yeah, that's my page for the ACC of Colors challenge. Then I have a few um, pages that I have done in the um, in some Hannah Carlson books. So um, I actually I won't do that one first. I will do this one first. So this book is Daydreams, um, and I followed a color along on Jen's coloring corner. Um, I'll have all these links in the description as well. Um, and Jen used uh, Neo Colors, um, Neo Color 2 crayons for the background, and then um, Prismacolor pencils and Tooly Art paint pens. So that's literally all we used to create this pretty incredible effect. Um, it was so easy to follow along. I cannot recommend her color alongs enough, and I will definitely be doing more. Uh, so yeah, and I really love how the flowers ended up looking like they're glowing by the way we did the background and the colors that we used. Um, yeah, so really, really happy with that. And then I also did for title page Tuesday, which we also host over on the color with us Facebook group each Tuesday, I did the title page and I used, um, the techniques that I learned from the other page. Um, to do this one. So again, it's Neo Color to crayons in the background, Prismacolor pencils, and Tooly Art paint pens. And then I also used a little bit of gold watercolor paint um, to just splash on there and add some extra detail. So yeah, both um, the bird page was the first one that I'd done in this book. And then, so I got two pages done in the, this month, which was great. Then um, in Seasons, I did another color along of Jen's, and actually this was the first one that I did. I thought it was in the other book, but um, yeah, so this amazing bee with the jewel and some pretty flowers. Again, Neo Color 2 crayons, um, Prismacolor pencils, some white gel pen, not gel pen, white paint pen, um, colored Tooly Art paint pen and gold, oh yeah, gold gel pen and gold watercolor paint. And yeah, I just, I love it. I'm so, so happy with how they came out. Um, and yeah, a whole lot of fun. So then I decided to try and go on my own. Um, and I did a page in grains of gold. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I actually went through, because this is a compilation coloring book. So it has 83 of um, Hannah Carlson's pages from previous existing coloring books. And then there are also 11 pages that are just in this book. Um, but I was curious what other books the illustrations were from. So I spent quite a bit of time going through, labeling them all, looking on YouTube flip throughs to see what pages are in which book. Um, and I've actually created a free PDF on my coffee store or Kofi store um, that you can download for free. Um, and I will have the link for that down in the description. So that has the page number, a description of the illustration of the page, and then which book it was originally published in. I just thought that other people might be curious to know as well. But after I did that, 
I then went ahead and I colored this page for Easter. So this wasn't a color along, but again, I used everything that I had learned already. So I used the Neo Color 2s in the background, Prismacolor pencils, Thule Art paint pens, um, metallic uh, gel pen, and then also added some uh, Winsor & Newton iridescent medium to the outside of the eggshells. Um, but yeah, I think I did pretty well with the gems to make them shiny, um, doing that on my own without following a tutorial. So yeah, pretty happy with that. And I'm really enjoying coloring in these books. So that is Grains of Gold. I also did some PDFs this month um, and some of these are from um, free PDFs that I shared a video on that I will link up in the iCards um, and in the description if I remember. Uh, yeah, free Easter coloring pages that you could download and color. And I just did some basic coloring. Um, I really just wanted to, yeah, just color very simply with my Copic markers. So I did this really cute little chick and egg page. And then this one is from Lottie Ford. Um, that is also in that video, so you can get a link to download that um, through that video. Again, Copic markers, just in fun pastel colours. Then this one is from Chris Reiniak's Easter bundle that he put out last year. It's just um, PDF pages, um, and I coloured it with Copic markers and then added stickles to the little egg characters. Um, and yeah, just a lot of fun. And then the last one um, is also from that Easter bundle by Chris Reiniak. And this is just um, Copic markers and my white gel pen. And I haven't managed to um, to find my uh, marker paper yet um, since we moved. So this is just on smooth everyday printing paper, which is why it's a little bit streaky, but that's okay. Okay, we still have more. Uh, so I did a buddy color this month. So um, it's my first one in a very, very long time. Um, I am not really doing a whole bunch at this stage. I'm only doing one a month um, because I still have stuff going on with the, um, the renovations and my health and everything. And I don't want to commit to someone like to a bunch of people and then not be able to complete it in the month. So, um, yeah, I'm just doing one a month at the moment, but Jodie from JI Colorist and I did a page in Romantic Country, The Third Tale. So Jodie saw that I had got this in one of my hauls towards the end of last year and said, um, that she'd like to, you know, make sure she does some coloring in her copy of the book. Um, but, uh, so if I ever wanted to do a buddy color, just to let her know. So I did. And we decided to color this one. So Tom's ice cream. Um, and it was a whole lot of fun. I used my Doa Intense pencils and then a whole lot of different metallic and glaze and, um, yeah, sparkly gel pens. Um, and quite obviously I was in a pink mood. Um, I really wanted to do the ice cream, uh, cart, I guess it is pink, but then I realized he was a pig and he was going to be pink. So it ended up being a lot of pink. Um, but then I added like the teal and the yellow as well. And here's Jodie's page. And interestingly, even though they look quite different, we have used a lot of the same colors. So I thought that was quite fun. Um, but yeah, Jodie has done a lovely job. So thanks for coloring with me, Jodie. And, um, I'm looking forward to doing another one with you sometime soon. Then we have... I did a bunch of pages in some other um, magic painting books. So I will show you what I have done. Um, we have dinosaurs and in this one, I think, yeah, I just did the title page and that was for title page Tuesday in the Facebook group. And again, 
literally all you need is water and a paintbrush and all the colors come out themselves so lots of fun there's that one then the lovely Kim um, from uh, my Facebook group as well as uh, Instagram and I'm sure she follows me here on um, YouTube as well she recommended that I would probably like the rainbows paint magic painting book uh, because I one I love rainbows two I love color and three I love the experience of these books where you just don't know what color is going to come up and so um, it's a bit of a surprise. So yeah, she recommended this one to me and I'm glad she did. I've just done this one page. Um, and yeah, so this one's really fun because you can see the color gradients more that I have been talking about that these books have. It's not just a solid color in each area. Um, it does bother me a little bit that they've kind of got the rainbow around the wrong way. Um, because that looks more like violet and then the last one looks more like indigo and they should be around the other way but that's just me being a bit pedantic um, but yeah that was a lot of fun so I enjoyed that one and that's all I did in there then I have also done the title page on the space book again just lots of fun I so enjoy these books it feels quite juvenile sometimes but that doesn't really matter I just enjoy them so that's that one and then I did get an Easter this was the only book that I purchased for Easter this year um, and I've done a bunch of pages in here I haven't finished it but I have done quite a few I have done the title page And then this cute one here where they're decorating their eggs for Easter. And then we have some fairies. And I'm not sure about um, the coloured skin. It just seems a bit odd. So I actually did this one before I did this one. So with this, I just decided to do their freckles coloured. Um, and... Yeah, like green skin just doesn't look right so anyway that's what I have done and then this one they're doing some Easter baking very very cute then we have a bike ride in the park then this was a whole lot of fun I love the rainbow balloon um, I do wish the purple was more purple though. It kind of looks like it's trying to be black, but anyway, um, it is still very cute. Then we have this one where they're doing an Easter egg hunt or an Easter parade with music and balloons. Then this one, the bunny is I don't know if he's looking for eggs or hiding the eggs. I think he might be hiding the eggs. Then, did I do any more? I don't think I did, no. So there's a few in that one. Then we have a couple of Morgan O'Brien books. So, da 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 da, I finished The Way Home. Um, yeah, it's very bittersweet because I love this book. I love coloring in it but I'm sad that it's finished. At least I can now get um, PDFs of the pages from Morgan's um, Kofi Coffee Store, um, which is really, really good. But the pages that I did to complete the book were this one. So this has Copic markers and some um, Posca metallic and then some clear glaze on the windows. And the last one that I did was this one where he's giving his friend a bath. And again, Copic markers, white gel pen, and I used some of the Winsor & Newton iridescent medium on the bubbles. So keep an eye out. I will be doing a full flip through of this completed book soon. So I actually finished two books this month. <gasps> That's pretty cool. Go me. <laughs> Then we also have Matchstick Mouse and I coloured a page in 
here for St. Patrick's Day. So in this book, I am using the Montmartre metallic watercolors um, for all the backgrounds. And I'm doing like this messy splodgy effect. And then I use Copic markers for the rest of the coloring. I also used my dual metallic gel pen for all the bits of gold and then some clear glaze for his eyes and the worm and things like that. So last year I went through and I actually did all of the Easter themed pages during Easter. So you can see there the background that I um, started using. So yeah, I'm using that throughout the whole book. I like to kind of do little themes like that in different books. And then I have um, uh, Field Mouse Yuyuri's Travel Sketchbook by Inatomi Makiku. Um, and I actually did two pages in here because I'm trying to get as many pages done in this book this year as possible, like without going overboard. I'm not expecting to finish it, but I'd like to do a few pages. So the first one that I did was this one and it is the autumn title page uh, and I followed um, Shelly from Shelly's coloring journey um, she has a color along on her channel again I will link to that in the description and yeah for the background I used some Montmartre twistable crayons um, and used it a bit like gel pen, uh, gel crayons in the background. My dual metallic gold marker uh, pen and Shelly actually uses the Albrecht Durer uh, watercolor pencils by Favor Castell, um, but they actually are the same colors as the Polychromos pencils. So I use my Polychromos for this and some Tuli Art gel pen, not gel pen paint pen so yeah really happy with that however I have decided that I'm going to use this style of coloring in this book um, it kind of mimics more the style that the illustrator uses in the uh, where are they in the example pages so yeah you can see it's a much more sketchy style so I decided I'm going to do that um, I used my Artex pencils and that's it. I didn't use any embellishments or anything. Oh no, I did. I used um, Neo Color 2 crayon for the shadowy background, but I didn't use any metallic or anything like that. And I've just kept it really simple and I'm really happy with it. And that is definitely the direction I am going to go in for the rest of the book. Then we have um, Ivy and the Ink Butterfly by Johanna Basford. This is a bit of a project book that a group of us are doing. Um, and we have started from the beginning and are working our way through doing a double page spread each month. So this is the spread that we did in March. I have used pencils from just about every set that I have. So there's Prisma colors, there's um, uh, Macaron, uh, Brutfinner Macarons, there's, uh, sorry, I'm having such bad brain fog today. Um, Crayola colors of the world, like, yeah, lots and lots of things. And then I used a whole bunch of gel pens and metallic pens and glittery pens and glaze pens and yeah, all the things. So it's okay, I don't love it. Um, but this next page is a lot, but I've had an idea. I think that I will probably do it similarly to how I did this page. So what I did, I was having a lot of trouble with my hands um, when this month that we did this. So you can see a bit more here, hopefully, um, that I just did some really faint sort of um, rainbow shading in behind things and I actually did it all through here as well and then I just used various metallic pens um, and outlined the lines so what I think I will do is do the same for this so kind of give 
a rainbow background um, and then highlight the lines and things with um, gel pens. I might do some of this a bit like I have here on the title page because they are very similar shapes. In fact, it's basically the same. So to keep it consistent, I might actually try and do it the same. Uh, yeah, so hopefully it won't be too bad. Otherwise I might end up really damaging my hand from colouring, but we shall see. And the book is getting a bit grubby because I've been using it so much, but yeah, that's that one. We have about six more or so. So then in Cute Alphabet by um, Paula Lorian, um, I do a page in here every month for Disney Meg's, um, man, not Mandala, ABC Challenge, uh, where she chooses a letter of the alphabet every month and you can colour anything to do with that letter. So I just chose the letter M, which was her letter for that month, and I coloured it like this with Copic markers. And I name each girl after the letter and I called her Maeve. Um, yeah, so it's just Copic markers and a little bit of white gel pen. I was having a lot of trouble with one of my Copic markers. The ink went a bit strange. Um, so then I tried to fix it. And it doesn't look the best, but it's okay. And then I also use different colours that I would normally use. Because sometimes I just like to stretch myself a bit. Then we have 50 Mythical Miniatures, which I am colouring in my video series, Mythical Minis, where I colour a page out of this book by Camellia Angel Cova, and I tell you all about the mythical creature. Um, and for March, it had to be the Leprechaun. So um, the video for that is up in the iCards. I will link to it. Uh, but yeah, it's... Um, it's quite interesting learning about the leprechaun and where they came from and the story behind them. But I use my Copic markers, my dual metallic um, gold Pentel pen um, and the gold ended up going everywhere, but that's fine. It's just like gold dust. Um, and then also Posca gold for the detail on the pot and on his hat and his shoes and his belt. <laughs> Because I wanted two different golds, and I really wanted the um, the coins to be really glittery. So yeah, lots of fun. I feel like I say the same thing all the time. Sorry if it gets repetitive. Then, also in the Facebook group, we are colouring together through this whole book. So this is the Magic Jars Colouring Book by Colouring Book Cafe. Um, and there is actually another version of this book through... Um, coloring heaven um, the cover is different but pretty much the illustrations are all the same it is also called magic jars I don't have a copy of it so I can't show you but um, the page that we colored in March was this one here and I decided to go bright and happy and kind of just make up some colors for the frogs and things my Copic markers and my white gel pen is all I used for this so yeah, very happy. Then in Adorable Girls by Raider Prince, I did a page, actually I did a couple of pages because I am doing um, Nerma Colorings hashtag each month where it's like an eye color and a hair color or a hair color and a lipstick color, something like that. And I really enjoyed doing them in this book. So I did the one for this month, which is this one here. And it was red hair, green lipstick. Um, so it's my Copic markers, metallic watercolor in the background, a little bit of metallic gel pen and clear glaze on the eyes and lips and also white gel pen. So there were a bunch of these prompts that Nerma put out, um, Nerma Colouring put out um, before I actually found them and started doing them. So I've gone back and I'm going to do other pages and fill it in. So this was pink hair and green hair. 
Um, so yeah, this was lots of fun. Um, I, again, all the same materials, but I decided to flip the background color opposite to the hair. And I just think it turned out really well. And I love the sparkly background. Yeah, so she looks very happy and very fun. Three more books, my friends. So we have Woodland Hooger, um, and it is by Debbie Densham. And sorry, there's lots of fluff and stuff. Um, we've noticed since we moved into this rental that it's very dusty. We are forever dusting and there's just always dust around. So I'm not sure why that is, but there you go. Um, I did this page again, really simple Copic marker coloring. Um, I didn't use anything else. That's it. I will say that this book has a lot of like weird little, I don't know if you can see like weird little spiky bits that just kind of come out of the shapes and being a graphic designer I know like that happens when you don't kind of finish off your shapes properly um so it is a little bit you know it's been done in a rush or something I'm not sure which is a bit disappointing but it's still a very cute book and I enjoyed coloring in this and this was actually a first page then I actually started off the month doing a bunch of mandalas and if you've been around for a while you would know that I am this is just a project I'm doing myself I'm working through the various color palettes of the Sarah Renee Clark color cubes starting at number one and starting at the first page of this book and coloring each mandala with a different color cube color palette um, so I've been doing it for a while. There's no, I, you know, didn't put any kind of time limit on myself to do this. So I'm just working away at it, but I did a few this month. Um, and I used the Stedler Jewel End markers, um, which are quite good for doing mandalas. So there's this one. And then we have this one. This one, I really like this color palette. It's very different. And I thought I did one more. No, that's it. Okay. So yeah, I'm only up to um, number 21, palette 21. So I still have a lot to do. And then last but absolutely not least is the Frogs and Friends Color Along that I co-host with Megan from Disney Meg's Coloring. And in March, we started in volume two of the Frogs and Friends coloring book. Now this book in this volume two, like this, is only available as a PDF. Um, and you can get that from bindlewood.com um, and purchase it from Chris, that's Chris's website. Or if you go onto Amazon, there is a Frogs and Friends book. It's just called Frogs and Friends. It doesn't have any volume on it. So it's not volume one, volume two, but it actually has all of the illustrations from both volumes in it. So there's like 50 illustrations, something like that. So that is another way that you can purchase the book if you would like a printed copy. So this was our first month in this book and the page that we colored was this one with our little froggy friend and his little tadpole friend. And to me, it kind of looks like a big brother with a baby sister and he's holding her and he's really proud of her and just kind of showing her off. Look at my gorgeous baby sister. I don't know. That's just how I read it. But it, I use my Copic markers, my white gel pen, and then um, some glossy accents on the highlights of the eyes to make those extra shiny. <sighs> so, friends, that is it. I think it was 40-something pages I managed to do this month, which is crazy. And I don't expect to, you know, to be doing that every month. And if you don't get anywhere near that many done, do not feel like you are not doing well enough or whatever. Don't judge yourself compared to other people, one, because it's just not healthy to do that. But two, this, is, this isn't this is even standard for me. So there we go. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you had a favorite page. Um, I am just always curious what other people like. 
um, compared to the ones that I really like. And yeah, I love having you guys come and spend time with me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.